you need to create a direct link from who you are to your audience. Hello YouTube world, welcome to my channel. My name is Amelia. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to create your YouTube brand. Knowing who you are and what your brand offers your audience is extremely important. Since starting my YouTube channel not that long ago, I have been learning so much about who I am and who my audience is. Now what I learned really quickly when starting my YouTube channel is knowing who you are and who your audience is from the time you start your YouTube channel is going to be very hard. I always like to tell people who ask me about what my YouTube channel is about and how they start and how they can start theirs is knowing who you are and your brand and your audience is not really important straight out the gate. I recommend testing things out, knowing who your audience is and what sets you apart from everybody else. Look, there is going to be similar brands, similar YouTube channels who are gonna have very similar content to the ones that you're putting out. But I wouldn't let that exactly discourage you. Look, we are all completely different from each other unless you are the spitting image of someone else and you're directly quoting them verbatim. And if you're not doing anything like that, then there's always going to be a uniqueness just to you. Your audience will recognize your uniqueness and your personality that is different from everyone else's and they will learn to love your channel just because of you. But the key to creating your YouTube brand is actually finding out what your uniqueness is. Once you actually find out what that uniqueness is about you that everyone loves about your channel, that's when you can finally hone in on what your brand is. Well, how do you actually find out what your uniqueness is? Well, I'm glad that you asked. The best way of finding out what your uniqueness is and what your brand actually is, is finding out what content in your videos is actually getting the most views and the most engagement. Once you find out what videos is actually giving you the most views and the most engagement, then it's time to rewatch and rewatch and rewatch those videos. Once you've done that and you maybe have found out that, yeah, I think I finally understand what these videos are about and why they're so special. Then I would take those exact videos and share it with different audiences. This is like what marketers like to call like controlled testing. Take that video and find Facebook groups online that are also other YouTubers. If you go on Facebook and you look up Facebook groups in the group section, tons of groups are gonna show up of other YouTubers just like yourself. You can even niche down the group section and find YouTubers that are speaking about the same things you're speaking about in your videos. Post on their timeline and let people know, hey, can you give me feedback on these videos and tell me what you guys think and let me know what are the best parts about my video. Once you get that data from everybody and their comments, whether it be friends, family, and Facebook groups, then you can finally hone in on what sets you apart from everyone else and what is the unique part of you. Once you find out that actual unique part of you, then you can really start curating to that. What I mean by really starting to curate to that is you can really start posting more videos with very similar content, just, you know, style different ways. It could be your humor in that video. It could be the way you did a specific thing in that video that made you actually different from somebody else. You see, if someone is searching on YouTube and they're clicking and watching one video and your video shows up in the search suggestions and they click on it because your thumbnail looked good, everything looked good, and they fully watched it till the end, 
that means there was something about you that was different from the previous YouTuber that they watched. See, a lot of times what happens is when you're searching for something on YouTube and you click on somebody that you like, or it could be somebody that you're already subscribed to or whoever was searching is already subscribed to, usually most of the time people who show up in the search uh, content on the side have very similar videos to the ones that are the one that they're actually watching. So for me, I like to post a lot of content on finance, budgeting, career, things like that. And if I show up in the search results next to someone else's video, more than likely that person that their video that they're watching is also talking about very similar things. And if somebody clicks on my video after watching someone else's video and they watch it all the way through and I'm getting a good amount of views on that video, what that tells me is that there is something about that video that was different from the one that they watched that allowed that person to still find interest in what I was saying. That tells me that that video is doing well and there is something that I need to do that to help keep posting videos that people like just like that. Once you are starting to post videos that people are really liking and you found that niche, which is the key part of YouTube is niching down. At that point, you can start building that brand, that huge brand that you have and that you want um, on your YouTube channel. You can start customizing it. You can start creating banners that uh, that is niche to that specific uh, brand that you um, are looking towards. It'll just be a lot easier for you to know who you are. Because at the end of the day, a brand is knowing who you are and how to link to the people that you are that are watching you. Setting yourself apart from somebody else that they might also like themselves. So I would say as a new YouTuber, and I'm talking to myself when I say this because I am a new YouTuber myself, is finding what your uniqueness is, captivating that, taking it, and building it. So if, I really hope that helped, uh, helped you understand how to find your brand and how to uh, basically capitalize on that, how to use that to your best advantage. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below and let me know what was the best part of this video and what you learned and what are some of the tips that you use to help you build your brand and help you build your YouTube channel. And please let me know, what are some of the good things that you like about my YouTube channel? I would love to hear your feedback as well. If this video was good to you and you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe if you wanna be a part of my tribe. Well, thank you for coming to my voice and my face. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.